Yo, what's up, guys? What's up? So, shout out. Uh, we're going to talk about Casper, guys, hitting new all-time highs and where I think it's going to go next. So, stick around for that. Real quick shout out to the guy in the comment section yesterday who told me to stop saying yo because it irritates him. Yo! What's up? <laughs> anyway, guys, let's get into it here. So, Casper up two spots today, guys, ranked 22nd. $4.99 billion market cap, $178 million in trading volume, guys. Caspa's in new all-time high territory right now. It broke to $0.20, cents seven. Uh, it's up 5.4%. Uh, let's go over to the chart, guys, and we'll have a look. I know the hash rate's been going crazy uh, for starters. Uh, we know that, yes, we know that the hash rate uh, over the last few days has been running. And that is uh, largely due to uh, Marathon as they're, uh, as they're mining Caspa now as well, right? Marathon being a Bitcoin miner. So, guys, I wanted to show you something very interesting on the charts when it comes to Caspa, okay? Now, if you're unfamiliar with TA, so this is a, uh, a rising wedge pattern, right? These generally, generally break to the downside, Okay, as a general rule, they, they, they do, right? And the, just like the falling wedge will break to the upside. By the way, guys, real quick, if you want some technical analysis training, jump over to the Patreon. The link is down below. We're doing technical analysis training videos over there. Uh, so definitely jump in and uh, start learning some of the basics about TA. So anyway, these will generally break to the downside, okay? However, CASPA on the charts seems to have a history of doing the opposite, right? If we look here, we had another one right here, right? We had another uh, rising wedge, and it broke. Look, at it broke to the upside very bigly, right? Very, very bigly. It broke to the upside, oops, um, about 31.33% was the breakout on that to the upside. Okay, and that was a smaller pattern. Now, I'm going to zoom out and I'm going to show you even more of what I'm talking about. If we look back here, look, we have another one. We have another rising wedge pattern that ended up breaking to the upside as opposed to the downside. Now, this one broke up, uh, broke up 183% to the upside out of a pattern it should have broken to the downside on right so let's take that because it's a bigger time frame or a, a, a bit yeah it's a bigger time frame uh in terms of the rising wedge so let's let's just hypo hypothetically say this one is going to break another 83 percent to the upside well where would that put us we'll put us around Thirty-two cents, <clears throat> and that is right around the range. I think we are going to break out of. Now, first off, I think what's going to happen here is we're going to see a break out to around that twenty-one cent level. We will get above twenty-one cent, possibly twenty-four. There's a couple of resistance levels, but I do think in the very, very short term, we are going to end up around that thirty-two to thirty-seven cent mark uh, in in a pretty big rally. The hash rate's been going up like crazy, guys. Caspa starting to gain momentum again. Um, we know KR, uh, KRC20 tokens are coming, right? KRC20 is coming. So there's a lot going on. Uh, only a matter of time, guys. We have Binance and Coinbase and, and all of these uh, tier one exchanges, uh, crypto.com, that still have to list Caspa, right? So in the short term, I see 32 to 37 cents in the cards, probably before September, right? Um, and then beyond that, I think we could see somewhere around that 80 to 83 cent level before the end of the year. And where I think Caspa can go in 2025, I think we can really go on a parabolic run uh, somewhere around that, again, 3 to $5 mark uh, is where I see us ending up. Uh, I will likely be exiting somewhere around 3 bucks, though, uh, taking my profits. We got in on the channel. We got into Caspa. If you were a member of the channel, which you can join by be clicking the join button um we got into caspa a long time ago uh below a cent it was like half a cent or something like that we were buying it up 
on the channel. Uh, shout out to Facts, Facts Over Feelings. Uh, brought it to our attention long, 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 long time ago. One of our members, and uh, yeah, we've been we've been we stockpiled like crazy. So that's kind of where I I see Caspa going in the short term and in the long term. Let me know if you agree or disagree with me in the comment section, guys, because I'd love to know. It's perfectly all right to disagree with me. Uh, I'm not that guy that blocks you because you think I'm wrong. Uh, that that that's uh, that's not what we do here. So. Anyway, uh, click the like, click the subscribe button, guys. Click the join button. Become a member. You could have got in early on a project like Caspa, right? We get in on these projects super early over on the member side, so definitely click the join button for that, guys. Uh, we also help you with your portfolio structure and your exit strategies. Uh, also, guys, listen, if you need personalized one-on-one -on -one coaching sessions, book them today on the Patreon. The link is in the description down below for that. Get your Patreon uh uh, video calls book in we will video call you we will help you out with personalized coaching sessions we also do technical analysis training videos guys over on the patreon as well so you can start learning about these patterns and stuff we have another video that will be uploaded another ta video that's going to be uploaded today over on the patreon with another technical analysis uh training video so check that out again link is down below like and subscribe i'll see you guys later